Okay, I have been trying to make these for you for, what, two or three weeks now? <laughs> it, it just has not happened. So today I'm just going to do it. Now I'm only going to make one. Um, you can double this, half, triple it, whatever, whatever you need to do if you're going like, to feed your family for a dessert. Or obviously just do the one for yourself. The first thing I did was I made my microwave apples. It's the same ones that I made for the apple pie French toast. I will put a link to the recipe in the description box. You can use the Hungry Girl Scoopable Apple Pie. You can use the sugar-free apple pie filling from Walmart. You can use regular pie filling. Um, anything you want to use, you just adjust your points. So this is going to be another one of those in my series of don't blink <laughs> or you're going to miss it. It is just that easy. So the first thing we're starting here with is the Olay Wellness High Fiber. This is one point. So whatever wrap you use, that'll be your point. The apples are zero. We'll get to the toppings in a minute. Now this is just one apple. So what I want to do is put about two-thirds of it. I have my pan preheating. I'll scooch over there in a minute. Maybe about two-thirds. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this for presentation. So just kind of put it here in the middle. And we're just going to roll it like a, a bundle. So we're going to roll this side in this side and then the ends you can put this on a piece of wax paper because we're going to spray it with the I can't believe it's not butter and this is for the flavor because this would um, not be good with the um, hands olive oil spray you know like we usually do Oh my goodness, I think we're getting low here. Okay, now let me scoot you over to the pan. So the pan, I think it feels hot. So put it, the side we just sprayed, down. Yeah, you can't see them. And then go ahead and hit the top. And we're just going to cook this until it is browned on both sides so while that is cooking I'm gonna go get my serving plate and when we come back we'll put it together okay so it just takes a matter of a few minutes and it browns that spray browns pretty quickly it's like if you're making a grilled cheese sandwich it, it browns very quickly on that bread same thing here now you'll notice it's a uh, square and it's not a circle like a, a normal burrito that's because I find that when you roll it like that, the ends, because there's not much filling in it, the ends don't tuck in very well because you have to roll it tighter. And then you don't want the apple all the way to the end, open ends because it'll squish out. So this is how I do it. You can um, roll it in any way that you want to do it. Now we're just going to cut it in half. If I can get through the bottom there, having a little bit of difficulty. I guess it's this knife. Okay, well I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pull it open like it was cut. We'll pretend that is not visible. How about that? Now this is what I do with the leftovers. I put it right here because it looks like. Oh, look at all those apples spilling out, girl. Uh, <laughs> nobody has to know if you just serve them your little plate then now normally I don't weigh this because I just squeeze it on but for the sake of we'll do it the right way <laughs> we'll go ahead and put it on the scale and weigh how much we put on we'll put it on grams set our plate on there tear it out to zero now up to 21 grams is a point and up to, I've already forgot, I think it's 34 
you can go all the way up to 34 or 35 for two points. So I'm just going to start squeezing it, and I can tell if I need to go one point or two. So I think I've already got this shook up. It may come out, you know, sometimes it comes out that little syrupy thing, but I think I got it shook up enough. Oh, this is the Smucker's sugar-free caramel. I should have showed you that. So let's try to decorate and watch the scale at the same time. Oh, it's not even. You see how that's clumping? Now that is really getting on my nerves. It's supposed to drizzle, but you see how that is doing? That, that is not normal. I have a picture of one that has the most beautiful drizzle on it. You wouldn't believe. So maybe yours will drizzle more. I don't know if it's too cold. Maybe you need to let it sit out or something. But you get the point. Put a nice pretty drizzle. Now we're up to 11 grams. And I don't think we need 22 grams. So I'm going to see how many points that is. If it, I don't know. I didn't pay attention to when it went from 0 to 1. Because I just assumed 0 wasn't going to be enough. So all you got to do is put as many points worth of the caramel syrup on it that you want to use. So let's just pretend this is one point. We have zero points apples, one point wrap, one point caramel sauce, and then this is going to be zero points. I do not weigh this. Mm -mm, I'm just not. You can decorate it. However, however you want to decorate it and make it pretty. I'm not a, a pretty food person. I can't make food pretty. <laughs> so there you have it. There is my two-point caramel apple burrito. And you saw how easy it was. The longest thing that I did was to peel and chop the apple. And then it cooked in the microwave two minutes. And you saw how quick it was to put together. Add about three minutes to brown it. There you have it.